Hey plant gang, excited to show you this tree, Philodendron amaranth, the amar cork tree. Uh, now this is not a North American native, uh, it's native to Asia, uh, and it is a plant that is considered invasive in some parts of, especially uh, Northeastern United States, New England, Massachusetts, that kind of area where, and in fact, sometimes it's listed as an invasive species. Now, here in Tennessee, I've not seen uh, this have any sort of invasive characteristics, uh, but we need to know it and we need to talk about it. First, it has compound leaves, and these compound leaves are oppositely arranged. Now, with this tree in particular, you kind of have to look at a lot of the leaves to get to the fact that it's oppositely arranged. Some of them can seem a little bit sub-oppositely arranged, and so you want to make sure you look all around the tree. The bark is distinct. This one has maybe a little bit darker bark because of its age and its location here on our University of Tennessee campus. Sometimes the bark is a little bit lighter than what you might see here, uh, but you definitely need to look uh, for these compound leaves uh, as one of the first uh, things to identify this plant. So again, uh, Philodendron amaranth, the amar cork tree. I'm showing you the back side of the leaf here. I start to get in here and it does have a very kind of soft velvety pubescence on the back of it. Again, this is a compound leaf and look oppositely arranged here on the stem. Uh, and so that's something that you want to look at. The leaves tend to have a little bit of a droopy characteristic to them. And that droopiness is kind of a, you know, not a rock solid ID characteristic, but one that you can look at. Uh, the bark is d typically pretty deeply furrowed, uh, a little bit spongy to the touch. Uh, this is a tree that is used in Chinese medicine, and so it's revered for, uh, for that. It's used as a street tree, as a landscape tree in a lot of cases, uh, in particular in the past. I would say that it has lost favor, uh, especially in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, f no, I'm sorry, the northeast, eastern United States, not the Pacific Northwest, but the northeastern United States uh, for its landscape capability because of some invasiveness and some seeding. It does put on long, long uh, sets of flowers that produce quite a bit of seeds. Uh, but again, in eastern Tennessee, I've not seen this tree be invasive. That does not mean that it can't be. It's not listed as an invasive species here. Uh, but a plant that you should know uh, and you may need to identify. Philodendron amaranth, the amar cork tree, opposite pinnately compound leaf structure, 30 to 45 foot high, 40 to 50 foot wide, a broad spreading tree that typically has a little bit of a shorter trunk just in general compared to the rounded outline of the canopy as itself. The fall color is yellow to maybe even with a little bit of tinges of bronze to it. It's hardy from zones 3B to 7. Uh, 3B to 7 and so in eastern Tennessee we're actually bumping right up against its heat tolerance and so that's one reason why you might not see it as much. Here's a landscape tip. China native shade tree of unique interest for its bark. Extremely pest free. <laughs>